Hi, I'm Emma, the designer at Bespoke Backdrops, and I'm delighted to be on the online prosperity show with Prosper. Today, we're going to be talking about showing up in business as the best version of yourself, making life and business more beautiful, and why showing up is the key to your success in business. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got the designer and founder of Bespoke Backdrops herself, Emma. Emma, how are you doing, my love? I'm doing very well. Thanks for having me on, Prosper. This is great. Absolutely. Now, obviously, if you're watching this show, you would understand that every single day we're bringing in experts in their own field, people that know a thing or two about how you can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, if we're going to be reaching out to our customers, we are obviously going to have to have some sort of aesthetic or some sort of branding that distinguishes us from the crowd. Now, Emma has been working in her business and numerous other businesses for the past 20 years, and she's here today to let us know a little bit about how design can actually, you know, put you head and shoulders ahead of your competition and how you can blend that together so that um, you know your business and your clients would be able to distinguish your products or your services when they see them online or wherever they're going there. Now, Emma, I don't think I would have done a lot of justice in introducing you um, there right now. Tell us a little bit about your story and how you got started um, you know, uh, with your business here, Bespoke. Backdrops. Well, Bespoke Backdrops is quite a new business, it's only two and a half years old, but I'm actually an artist and a designer. So for the past 20 years, I have been making life and business more beautiful. So I bring my art and my design skills into the online world these days. So people can, um, we're all very visual, everything's video or photographs, and a lot of people work from home. So often their home offices or where they do their work from doesn't actually reflect visually their business. So I step in, I produce these backdrops that people can put up at home or wherever they want, and instantly they're visually recognizable um, to their audience. Because what I've noticed is in this Facebook world, we've all done it, we scroll through Facebook and there's so much information and our brains just can't take it in. But if we see something that's visually recognizable, that we know who it is or what the topic is because of how it looks, we're more likely to stop and stop scrolling and actually pay attention. So having sort of visual consistency in your business at all touch points, whether it's on video, whether it's your website um, or Instagram, allows people to recognize you across all the platforms. And that's really powerful these days because we've got so much information being bombarded at us visually that we like to be able to be a little bit lazy and pick and choose the people we recognize. And that's essentially what I do for my clients to sort of stand out online visibly. Oh, so, sorry. I was so taken in with the backdrop that you have on there. I literally, yes, like what you're saying right there, when something is visually satisfying as your backdrop right there, it, you know, it calms, um, you know, the, the, the senses, senses of the, you know, the customer and they would want to know more about what it is that you're offering. I would want to compare with the backdrop that I have mind there. There's so much happening. It's too confusing. And if you don't grasp or grab your customer's attention, you've lost them because there's just so much that they're looking into or trying to see what, you know, stuff is behind you. So having a backdrop like yours actually does, you know, concentrate all, um, you know, their attention to you, the presenter there. Now, let me know what sort of, um, you know, um, modalities would you use a backdrop like yours there um is it something that you can just have in your office or what what where would it be of use mainly well a backdrop is really great for anything that's kind of visual so whether it's your video um an interview like this or whether you're doing private zoom um client calls skype calls photo shoots I now do sort of the bigger backdrops that people take to events. So it's kind of, it's all across the board, wherever you're going to be visually present um, in front of your clients, your prospects or your tribe, um, that's where the backdrop kind of, kind of sort of uh, reigns supreme. And it helps people set themselves apart from the crowd as well. But from a business point of view, um, the thing with the backdrop is that so many of us are working from home these days. 
and we might be ex-corporate, we might be really professional in our industry, but we work from home and often we don't want our home life to be mixed up with our work life. We want to have that separation. And so the backdrop comes into play so you can be in your lounge room, you can be in your kitchen, but still show up as the professional that you are. So that's basically you know, where the backdrop really shines is if, if you work from home. Um, and sort of helps you sort of step up and upgrade yourself to the next level and sort of keep your home life private because a lot of my clients have um, they work from home they have kids there's a lot of mess there's a lot of stuff going on in their homes they might not be as lucky as you to have a dedicated space to do their business and so often they sort of put doing videos or being visible online into the too hard basket because they've got to tidy up or the house doesn't look this or whatever, whatever the excuse is. But as soon as you've got the backdrop up, it doesn't matter where you are or how much mess your kids have left behind, you know, instantly you're in that mode for business and you're instantly in that business space for you and your clients. Absolutely. So it's, quite, it's a hack. It's a business hack when you work at home. <laughs> Absolutely, because what you've just mentioned there, I do have a lot of people um, coming through to me because I do help uh, people with their business. And I've sort of coined the term that the closer you are to the camera um, after 2018, the closer you are to the bank. And the more you, yes, the more you are, you know, being seen, known and being heard in the marketplace, the closer people are gonna get to know, like, and trust you. And we all know that people do business with those they know, like, and trust. And while you were talking, I was actually walking around my house and strategically looking at all the places, even in my garage, even in my little girl's room, where you could just put a backdrop yeah. And, you know, just as long as the Wi-Fi is connecting and absolutely it would come, you know, essential. Now, when it comes to branding, can I just use any backdrop, whatever works at that particular day? Or do I have to be consistent with the one, um, you know, that um, I have already shown to my clients just in case I'm not in that particular environment, but I really want to put out a video, but I'm also afraid what am I going to do? Um, if I cannot have that particular yeah. same backdrop. Well, I, I do. I do sort of when I work with my clients, and it goes back to the whole business of branding and how you show up visually. I do sort of think that your branding should be consistent. So you can change it up a few times with whether it's your your backdrop, but it still should fit with the feeling of your brand. And when I work with people to design backdrops and to design their branding as well, as which is an extension of of what I do with the backdrops, I really go into how do you want to make your customers or your viewers feel. So that's the number one thing because we buy with our emotions. We buy um, with, you know, with our heart and 93% of all communication is visual. So if you can get your branding absolutely um, online with how you want to make people feel, then you're already stepping up sort of consistently. Now, if you want to change up your backdrops or change certain things in your branding, you can do that as long as you stick within that parameter of your brand. So how do you want to make people feel? Who do you serve? What are your colors? What, what sort of images and tone do you want to set? And once you've got that right for your brand, you can sort of play around with it, definitely. Absolutely. So Emma, while I was, um, you know, looking you up, um, <clears throat> obviously I got gravitated to you because of, you know, the visual uh, aspect of your brand. Your why is basically to make life and business more beautiful. Um, from what I heard, entrepreneurship is hard. You got to have a call face. Um, you know, if you're not grinding, then it's not happening. You don't get the results. How then does that tie in? Um, to your why when you want to make it all beautiful and lax there? Well, I tell you, I tell you um, something. We are, we are visual creatures and what we see directly correlates or directly um, sort of um, um, influences how we feel. So if we surround ourselves with really sort of mess and clutter and ugliness and stuff that doesn't make us feel good, we're actually not gonna take the actions that are positive that will help us grow our business. So I'm a real believer that what you surround yourself with helps you take positive action in the right, in the right direction. Um, it's so important for me that visuals um, are not just pretty pictures, they actually have a purpose. They actually help you step up and live your best life, whether it's creating a home that you feel really comfortable in, like making your home more beautiful, um, or making your business more beautiful, whether that's your business space, whether that's your branding, 
because people really do, like I said, buy with their emotions and we react with our emotions and we take action from how we feel. So if we're feeling great, we're more likely to sort of get the hustle on, do our work, show up as the best version of ourselves. And when we show up as the best version of ourselves, we attract the right clients as well. So I think making life and business more beautiful um, is absolutely crucial to how we actually feel about ourselves and how we actually move forward taking action. Absolutely. So obviously, um, once you've created that environment, it sort of, you know, really anchors you in and, um, you know, makes you accountable for what you're supposed to be doing within that environment. And I can see what a backdrop can do for you because then it becomes a symbol of, you know, your hard work and symbol of what you're supposed to be representing, um, you know, yourself out there. Now, how did you come to work you know with backdrops i mean branding can take an arm of its own and you've done so many businesses and you've even ended up in silicon valley from for all i know so how did this how did this all come to oh you? my goodness it all started um i moved from switzerland geneva in 2010 to australia did you bring us some chocolate I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he would have melted in the <laughs> Australian heat anyway. <laughs> um, and in Switzerland, I had an art studio. So I was teaching kids. I was taking commissions from interior design shops for paintings for people's homes. I came to Australia and I set up a shop selling my artwork, but printing it onto fabrics and then upholstering those fabrics onto chairs. So I had my little shop and I realized that actually having a shop and having a bricks and mortar business, I knew nothing about how to run a business for starters, a proper business. And it was taking up too much of my time. So I went online with a design your own chair business because when I was running the shops, I had all this inventory, these beautiful chairs with my beautiful fabrics, but people would say to me, Oh, Emma, I love that chair, but can we change the fabric up or can we just move it around a bit? So I started an online design your own chair business called my bespoke chair. And it was part of the whole mass customization movement. So people could choose, their chair frame, drag and drop my fabric designs into the chair frame, spin it around and they would design their own chair and I would then make it for them and ship it to them. And when I got to this stage in business, I realized I knew nothing about business. I knew nothing about my numbers. I knew nothing about my competitive landscape, all that stuff that you really need to know to sort of start making money. And I thought, okay, I'm online. I know nothing about business. What's the shortest way, the quickest way for me to learn about business? And I'm very influenced by the tech industry. I love tech startup. And um, I knew in the tech world, they do a lot of pitch contests. And if you're going to stand on stage or in front of a panel of judges, a bit like Shark Tank um, on television, you really have to know your numbers. You have to know your competitive landscape, your, your business model, your strategy. So I thought, okay, if I prepare myself to do a pitch, I'm going to have to know about my chair business inside out. So I, I joined a couple of pitch contests and the second one I joined was based out of Silicon Valley. So we were in Sydney and it was live streamed from Silicon Valley to Sydney and we were pitching and I actually won the whole pitch contest and I didn't mean to win it. I just joined the pitch contest to teach myself about business with my online chair business. I won the competition. I got uh, flown out to Silicon Valley for three weeks to meet with the, um, the venture capitalists, the, the people that were actually on, on the panel with the view of ex expanding into America um, with my online chair business. And it was when I went to Silicon Valley and I sat in a law firm in Palo Alto and they said, Emma, as CEO of this um, you know, tech startup, in fact, you have to be raising funds and looking six to nine months ahead to be raising the next seed round or round A or round B. And my little heart sank because I'm an artist and a designer. I love painting, drawing, being customer facing, you know, like you and I are now talking. And I thought, my goodness, if I take this online business any further, I'm never going to do that ever again. I'm never going to be customer facing. So I came back to Australia and I started looking at my numbers pretty seriously. And my numbers were telling me that people love working with me because the online chair business was not making very much money. I had all the kudos. I was Silicon Valley, Vogue Living Magazine, House and Garden Magazine, but I was really just barely breaking even. And my numbers were telling me that people actually didn't want to buy online from me. They would design their chairs, but then they'd actually email me or set up a call with me and I would 
design their chair for them. So then I realized that I had to sort of pivot and change my whole focus of my business. And that's how I slowly came into bespoke backdrops. But it really was about going to Silicon Valley, really number crunching and really understanding what my business was about and how it was failing, um, taking the positives from that failed business and then sort of injecting it into my new business, which is Bespoke Backdrops. And I've been uh, profitable since the first customer in 2015. Wow. Congratulations on that. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So having, having a look at all of this, I mean, my argument really is um, you, you do have such an amazing product. You do have such an amazing service. A lot of people out there really are stopping themselves dead in the tracks because of like what you mentioned, the whole perfectionist work-life balance. If we're working from home, I've got a three major that's just hanging in there, <laughs> <laughs> destroying everything possible. And um, yeah, she can waltz in here whenever she feels like, but if there's maybe a, a, a distinction there, um, she might know that, no, this is the time when daddy is supposed to be doing stuff. And it sort of, you know, uh, sets up, um, your home. You did write a little bit earlier on about the return of investment of a uh, backdrop. Um, are you able to sort of walk us through that and, um, you know, get us to see how somebody can actually see the real need of having a backdrop in their business? Yeah. So the ROI of a backdrop is quite interesting. I um, worked it out recently for a, a client of mine who said that she'd used her backdrop uh, 14 times in one week. So I was really quite um, stunned by this and I'd never really thought about the actual ROI and it worked out that her uh, backdrop was costing her $5.90 per use if she uses it, you know, eight times a month for two years. So that's a really good return on investment considering, you know, how much you might charge yourself out per hour or if you're doing a sales call, what is the return on investment on your new customer value, you know, how or customer acquisition costs. And $5.90 per use is actually, you know, like a cup of coffee or two cups of coffee. Exactly. So that's a really interesting way for me to look at it. Um, so there is a massive ROI financially as well if you work out how much, you know, your business turns over and how much you use the backdrop it's like for women if you buy a pair of shoes and you're trying to you're trying to justify it to somebody you go, <laughs> you know, you that, this 300 pair of shoes it's only going to cost me one you know one dollar per use and it's a bit like that with the backdrop but the big roi that people mostly talk about with backdrops is their emotional roi they actually have such a stress-free way of doing videos of showing up visibly and it gives them the confidence to do video because it is like putting on that beautiful pair of shoes or your beautiful suit you put your backdrop up and instantly you're ready for business you're focused and you feel better so the ROI is actually quite emotional not just financial absolutely yes I just really wanted um, you know because somebody would just be thinking to themselves do I really um, you know need um, something of that nature but now that you've eloquently put it across like that it, it does really justify you know the, the emotional part you can't put a figure number to that right so yeah. well that that is that is absolutely fantastic thank you so much for that now Emma you know we might have people uh, clamoring right now you know shoving each other and really wanting to get themselves a backdrop now that you've explained how it works and what are the positive advantages of it what's the best way that people can get a hold of you um, in order for them to um, you know talk about maybe their branding and to see if a backdrop is the way to go for their um, videos which i think is a need for everybody else yeah well you can hop on my website which is bespoke and then you can either hit the contact button and there's a, a schedule app, um, uh, calendar that you can just book in a chat with me just a casual chat or um, you can just have a look around the website and have a look at all the other designs I've done because the beauty with custom is that it can be anything I've had clients who are energy healers all the way to financial advisors you know and all the scope in between and I've just started a new line of backdrops which are pre-designed so there's um, a whole range of designs that are ready ready to go ready designed that you can just purchase at a much lower price point and still show up you know um, on brand and on message and you know hide your mess and have a really great looking video but it's bespokebackdrops.com 
that people can get hold of me. And if they're interested, actually, in the whole branding side of um, their own business, I have a DIY branding guide, which I'm happy to offer um, everybody. And I think there might be a link in the show notes. Um, You can download this PDF and it goes through the exact steps that I go through with my clients when I build their brand or when I build their backdrops. And you can do that for yourself. You can get a really good feel about, you know, who you are in business, your values, your clients, and visually how you want to show up. So that's Abs- beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, Emma, you've been so wonderful on this show today. First of all, your energy. Second, um, you know, your enthusiasm and your knowledge that comes along with all the expertise um you know and and the experience that you've accumulated along the years so i can't thank you enough for um you know spending some time with us today on the show and showing us what is possible when you can just um change a couple of things you know in your background and you can actually start doing videos at any point because right now for all we know you could be sitting in your garage but nobody would know (laughs) <laughs> you're in my lounge <laughs> and my kids just walk past but you would never know <laughs> great stuff i i love that about i love that about um the the background because at the end of the day like you say uh, not a lot of people have a dedicated space and with what you've just given us right there it, it just puts all the attention on you the speaker and it doesn't you know get eyes wandering and your message is actually heard and your branding is um, in place and like you say people are always scrolling scrolling through Facebook um, and if they can visually recognize your backdrop while you're speaking on live then all your marketing efforts are not wasted well thank you thank you so much I don't know if you still have one last thing um, that you might want to impart um, us with just so that we know how much help your business and how to actually make life and business a beautiful place like you say well the one thing i would say to everybody it's got it's not really linked to my business per se or my products and service but it's basically what i live by is 80 percent of success is showing up so however that looks like to you showing up in business if you just make little incremental changes and you make little steps forward 80 percent of success is showing up because a lot of people don't want to be visible they don't want to show up they find excuses why not to reach out to somebody or go to that event or put a product forward but 80 percent of success is just showing up and that's how i sort of run my business and that's what i would always advise other people to do it's my favorite mantra <laughs> absolutely well thank you so much for that and i'm really happy that you did show up today even though behind the scenes is a lot of disaster but we couldn't have seen it because your backdrop is showing it out right there thank you so much i mean you've put it into perspective that you could be anywhere and um you know your backdrop could save the day so if people are not showing up they're probably just really not wanting it bad enough so thank you so much for that my pleasure thank you prosper Absolutely.